My name is Anne Marie Bradford. I am a mother of three, and my youngest has special needs. His name is William, and he just made eight years old. He attends McMaines for therapy. He just finished a TheraSuit, which is a intense special needs program for children like himself. My son William started at McMaines when he was two years old. He originally had started with the We Can to Do program. He would go for a few hours every day where they would work on educational as well as physical help for him. And since then, we now do a speech therapy. We do communication therapy as well as the suit therapy that I just spoke of. William's nonverbal, so communication was a big part of what we were trying to achieve for William. We were able to try different devices, one of which was a eye scan device. The device is very difficult to get. McMaines had it there immediately for us to try. William was not successful with the eye gaze switch, so then we moved to a head switch communication device called a Dynavox. They have resources to be able to have all these types of equipment, so you're able to choose what is best for your child rather than just trying a standard piece of equipment because there are other pieces that are better suited for your child. And without that, we might not have the device that we have that really works best for William. I believe William came to me for a special reason, and I know for William, say in particular, there are some things that I don't know if he will ever necessarily be able to achieve, but it's opened my eyes to so many other children like William that have special needs. These children are such blessings, and they would bless so many other people given the opportunity to be able to excel to their potential. And that's why I have a strong passion for this, and I really want every child to be able to succeed. And knowing that the only way to do that is to have a facility that can offer parents guidance, children guidance, and have the resources for them to be able to succeed. And the center that offers all of these is McMaines. And without McMaines, these children, these parents, and these families would not have the opportunities that they have now. Without McMaines, I do not believe William would have as high functioning of a life as he does. He has a bike where he can go ride with his friends or his siblings. He has a communication device, so he's allowed to tell jokes with his friends, to ask to go to his grandparents' house. Otherwise, he would be nonverbal, and we would have to communicate for him. And so without McMaines, we really would not have a child. We would just have a body.